So, in Power World, you have a bunch of different combinations when it comes to breeding. And in this video, we're going to go through some of my favorite combinations. And what I'm going to do is just go through which powers you need to breed and what the result is going to be. I'll show you their habitats and everything. If you're interested in the process of being able to breed, there are videos on the channel. There's one for a like a beginner's breeding guide, and there's also one for making cake, which is a resource that is required for you to be able to breed. So starting off, we have Petalia, which is number 87 in the PAL deck. So if we go and we see Petalia, Petalia is going to spawn in Wildlife Sanctuary number one. And if you mix a Petalia with Mosanda, Mosanda is number 33. So we have Mosanda here. And Mosanda can be found over here. So above like where the desolate church is on this island here. If you put these two together, it doesn't matter which gender. Just as long as you have one male, one female when you are breeding. What you are going to get is Lileen. And Lileen is number 104 in the PAL deck. So if we go down to 104, we have Lileen. And Lileen has level 4 planting. So really, really good. But also level 3 handiwork and level 3 medicine production. If you wanted to find Lileen out in the wild then you would go up to the wildlife sanctuary at the top right of the map next up we have eliza b which is number 51 in the pal deck and eliza b is a boss in the game though there is an alpha one that you can find but also you can find them out in the wild in this area here and the partner you want for Elizabe is Hells of Fear, number 97 in the PAL deck. These do not spawn during the day. They only spawn at night time and they are found literally to the northwest of the Desolate Church and all around this area here. And when you put Elizabeth and Hells of Fear together, you are going to get Menesting. Menesting is number 99 in the PAL deck. And Menesting is good for mining and lumbering. So level 2 lumbering and level 3 mining. And if you are wanting to catch Menesting out in the wild, they are found in the Wildlife Sanctuary over on the left-hand side of the map. Then next up is to actually use the previous breeds to create a combo. So you have Lileen at 104, again found at the top right in that Wildlife Sanctuary. And you also have Menesting at 99, found in the left Wildlife Sanctuary. And when you put Lileen and Menesting together, you are going to get Lileen Knocked. So the habitat for these is unknown, so there's not a specific spawn for them. And the only difference between Lilene and Lilene Noct is the fact that Lilene Noct, so the nocturnal version, is going to be more focused on the handiwork gathering and medicine production because the only difference is that the nocturnal one loses the level 4 planting. So if you want planting, stick Lilene down. If you want handiwork or medicine production or even gathering, then use Lilene Noct. But putting together a Lilene and a Menesting, you're going to get the nocturnal Lilene. Then on to the next combination, we have Relaxorus, or as I'm going to call it, Relaxosaurus. That's number 85 in the Pal deck. If we go to the habitat, you can find them down here. So over to the west of the Desolate Church. And the number 54 in the Pal deck is Sweeper. You want to put Relaxosaurus and Sweeper together. Sweeper can be found either in this section here, so just below the uh, Scorching Beach, but also up here to the northeast of that area as well. And if you put those together, you are going to get number 92 in the PAL deck, which is Warsect. Really, really good for transporting and for lumbering. Level 3 on both. There is a little bit of planting and handiwork there as well. However, if you want to catch Warsect in the open, like in the wild, you would have to go to the Wildlife Sanctuary on the left-hand side of the map. Then jumping into one of my personal favorites, if you grab yourself a Pen King, which is number 11 in the PAL deck, these can be found in the Wildlife Sanctuary at the bottom of the map. If you then pair the Pen King with a Bushy, which is number 72 in the PAL deck and can be found either around the bottom left here, like all around the south to the southwest side of the volcano, which is known as Mount Obsidian, either there or in the Wildlife Sanctuary at the top right. And if you pair Pen King and Bushy together, you're going to get one of my favorites, which is number 100, and that is Anubis. Anubis, again, is really, really good. Level 4 handiwork, so the best handiwork you can get. Level 3 mining, which is exactly what I use Anubis for, because Anubis is a lot better than Dig Toys. And also level 2 transporting, so Anubis is fantastic. And if you want to get Anubis through the wild, the habitat is unknown. But if we go to our map very quickly, 
There is an Anubis boss over here in the Scorching Beach, level 47. But if you put a Pen King and a Bushy together, you can get Anubis from level, I think it's 19 or 20. You can get them really early, way before level 47. And as I said, Anubis is fantastic for mining. Then this is where we get into the really, really juicy bit of breeding. Like some of my favorites outside of Anubis. If you grab number 51 in the PAL deck, you get yourself an Elizabeth. Again, the habitat can be found there. If you grab one of those and you get a Relaxosaurus, which is number 85. So right here, they can be found down here. If you put these two together, you're going to get a dragon. It's 101 in the PAL deck. And this is Jormantide. So if we have a look, the habitat is unknown. And if we go to the stats, you're going to see that uh, Jormantide has level 4 watering. So really, really good. The best you can get. It does go up to level 5 work suitability, but you have to use a power condenser and things like that. So just naturally, from the moment you capture them or breed them or whatever, Jormantide has the highest level of watering. And yes, for those of you interested, there is a fire version which has level 4 kindling. I've used that for a very, very long time. But mixing an Elizabeth and the Relaxosaurus is going to get you Jormantide. And then again with this dude, the Relaxosaurus is back at number 85 in the PAL deck. Again, if you have a look on the map, that's exactly where you can find them in this like yellowy, orangey sort of area. If you put Relaxosaurus or Relaxorus with a Grisbolt, which is found at 103 in the PAL deck, Grisbolts can be found in the South Wildlife Sanctuary. If you put those two together, so Relaxosaurus and Grisbolt, you're going to get 106 which is Orserk. Can be found in the top right in this habitat. But if we have a look, Orserk is an absolute beast. Level 2 handiwork, level 3 transporting, level 4 electricity generation. So without using the PAL condenser and a load of PALs, Orserk has the highest level of generating electricity. So really, really good. And it's just a Relaxosaurus and a Grisbolt, which are not too hard to get your hands on. But then, if we take this Orserk, again, it can be found in the Wildlife Sanctuary at the top right of the map. If you take the Orserk at 106 in the PAL deck, and you breed the Orserk with a Grisbolt at 103, found in the Wildlife Sanctuary at the bottom, you are going to get number 98 in the PAL deck, which is Astagon. This dude is massive. And you'll see here the work suitability, level 4 in mining. If you want these on their own, the habitat is, again, the Wildlife Sanctuary at the top right. They're going to be a really, really high level up there. So you can get them earlier if you're doing the breeding. But Astagon, yeah, in incredible. But not only that, you can ride Astagon as a fly-in mount if you're a really high level. And you craft the saddle or whatever it is for the partner skill. And it increases the damage dealt to ore while you're mounted. So riding this around, flying it around, damaging ores, like doing a bit of mining when you're a high level. Yeah, Astagon's really, really good. And then the final one we are going to go through, if we use an Astagon, which is again number 98 in the PAL deck and can be found in the Wildlife Sanctuary at the top right, if you pair an Astagon with a Kitson, the Kitson is number 61, so the Kitson can be found over here on this snowy sort of icy area here, which is north of the Desolate Church. If you put a Kitson and an Astagon in the breeding farm together, you're going to come out with another beast, which is 107 in the PAL deck, and that is a Shadow Beak. Now, Shadow Beak isn't really that good for any sort of work. It's only level 1 gathering, but you can ride this beast as a fly-in mount, and it's also going to enhance your dark attacks while you're mounted on it. And if you wanted to get a Shadow Beak on its own out in the wild, you would have to go to the Wildlife Sanctuary at the top right of the map. So there's a little bit of combo-ception, is what I'm going to call it. You put Patalio, Masanda, you get a Lyleen, you put Elizabeth and a Helzephir, you get Menesting. And then from that combo, you make another combo. Lyleen and Menesting is going to make a Lyleen knocked. But that is my favourite, and I'm going to say some of the best breeding combinations you can get in Power World. And that was nine of them. There's some absolute beasts in there. Some of my favourites, Anubis, you've also got Jormantide, you've got Astagon. Absolutely love these pals. And some of them you can get way earlier than what you would be able to. Even if you can't craft the saddles for riding them and stuff, you can get some of them a lot earlier than you would be able to when you're catching them out in the wild. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the breeding and power world in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.